Oh, Nigel, hold up. I've got another question that needs your expertise. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. As with most industry quotes, there are a lot of variables and the main things to think about when pricing up a job is how experienced are they, if they've got the best kit in the world, it doesn't necessarily mean they know how to use it or have the expertise to operate it. Um, so, so do find out in advance what kit you've actually booked to shoot on the day. Um, if they're using DSLRs and iPhones, you can probably guess the kind of footage you'll get out of them. Um, next, think about crew size. So this is a big one. Um, the more bodies at the shoot location, the more people will need to be paid. So that affects the price. At Supermotion, we tackle these issues head on. Firstly, I run our shoots and I've got 25 years of experience. We've got the best kit on the market. This is an excellent Sony Cinecam, which is used for Netflix, BBC, all of that stuff. And we own it all outright, so there's no rental fees that you incur. Finally, we keep our crew small and nimble. I can operate all our cameras, drones, lights and mics, and so can any member of our team. So it means only one or two of us needs to be at, on location at any given time, which, which really keeps costs down. We don't need a dedicated sound man. We don't need a dedicated lighting person. Um, we can all do it all. The best way to find out about how much a shoot costs is to book in a strategy call with me and just by clicking the link below and I can go into it further. But what I would advise is if you're going with another company, try and get transparency, find out what they're using, what you're paying for. It's really important. Thanks a lot.